In the more than 100 years since the birth of moving pictures, images have jumped from the screens of movie theaters to home televisions and now to the personal devices we carry with us everywhere we go. Today, there's practically no limitation on space when it comes to experiencing video images. At London 2012, the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games, the history and culture of Great Britain were presented in an entirely new way. The event demonstrated how dozens of synchronized projectors placed throughout a venue can use projection mapping to stretch images around the contours of towering objects to spectacular visual effect. In the rich and glamorous casino paradise of Macau, this amazing visual display was created by LaserVision Megamedia, an award-winning producer of light shows. One of the major issues um, with this area, because it's an outdoor attraction, was the ambient light level. A lot of companies tell you one thing, but uh, when you go measure it, it doesn't actually achieve what the, what the desired amount of light level output is. These and other factors led LaserVision to choose the Panasonic solution, like the unit's 20,000 lumens of brightness, which firmly fix it in the high-end business use category. This projector was an immediate hit upon entry into the market, taking top share in short order. Why is this projector capturing the hearts of so many people? It's light and compact, saves on energy, and has outstanding brightness. This is the best projector now available in the market. It gives the sales team confidence. The best feature of all is the mobility. We had a team of um, five guys there just allocated just to do that task. And we found that out of the 26 projectors, we had actually loading them into you know, some are four and a half metres off the ground. The size, the bulk of the, the unit was very manageable, um, especially in confined spaces. We were quite amazed how fast we did it. In the past, projectors had to be big in order to generate enough brightness. Morio Matsumoto, a leader of the product design, helped overcome that limitation. We called it a half-concept development project. While creating a 20,000 lumens projector with vivid and expressive images, we ended up with half the size, half the power consumption, and half the installation space compared to previous projectors. The half-concept process was driven by our belief that a good product leads to customer satisfaction, so we developed on that basis. In a direct challenge to the single xenon lamp projectors which defined the mainstream high end at the time and which also had the disadvantages of being big and heavy, Panasonic came up with a new system that uses four UHM lamps capable of brightness and color reproduction as good as those of a xenon lamp. What factors led the team to adopt the UHM quad lamp system? The UHM quad lamp system excels not only in terms of compact size and lightweight, but also reliability during operation. Even if one lamp goes out, another is always there to compensate. It also doubles the lifespan of the lamps. The excellence in our products creates customer trust, but we also build trust through a highly responsive worldwide sales and support service. We listen carefully to customer needs and then implement them in product improvements. The operation costs uh, are quite minimal. Um, the show control system that we've integrated uh, with the Panasonic projectors, um, it can be operated by one person. Other projects that you see, you know, it can be a, a cast of tens or 20 people that are needed to look after the projectors. But um, because of the reliability, the, the ease of the projectors, it's all very easy, very accessible for this one technician to do. Now our team's been extremely happy in every aspect of the Panasonics. Um, yeah, it's been a fantastic experience for all of us. Projector technology has always been driven by the need to satisfy user demands. That stance is important for the future too. This is a projector that's driving the state of the art. It's capable of conveying new depths of mood, sensation and realism. It opens the door for research centers, universities and museums to develop new ways to experience images. Now, not only flat surfaces, but any three-dimensional object or space can be a video canvas, which promises an exciting near future where we can expect to be informed and entertained in imaginative new ways. I'm Kevin Hamilton in Osaka, Japan.